Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Steven, and happy Memorial Weekend. And uh, yeah, it's going to be loads of fun. Little reminder on all the candies. This is the PI Performance Improver. This sucker right here is going to clean your valves, injectors, carbon deposits inside your combustion chamber. It's going to get your car to run significantly longer and stronger. And uh, AMS oil, when you change all the fluids, will get your vehicle to run better than new. And I know that's hard to believe, but I want you to check out these people's reactions. Check it out. All Coming right. out of that? All right. That was smooth. Wow. Yeah. You might have me sold on everything at this point. <laughs> oh my God, that's so smooth. It if is. you told somebody, they would say you're totally full of it. Yeah. No, that's, that's like night and day from... If you're new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. You can tap the little red icon in the corner. That way you can come back and watch this important information for your vehicle later. I think it's great. I think actually um, we're just taking off here, but I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do this for a while and I just hadn't made time to do it. So thanks for pushing me to get it done. Oh yeah, yeah. But it feels great. I can, I can already tell. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. And then, you know, I didn't think that you know oil could really make that big of a change just for the simple fact is you know most of my experience uh, 14 years in extremely big uh, class 8 trucks and everything so you know you change the oil and they you start them up they're always loud they're obnoxious <laughs> they're big and you know um, now that we've changed the oil out on this truck and we've changed all the fluids out uh, you know even being a mechanic, you know, thinking there that, that's not possible. Um, Amsoil does make a great product. I mean, I do feel a difference. It, it does idle smoother. It shifts better. Um, the overall running is better. I get better mileage, and I just didn't think that was a possibility. Yeah, but it is. Yeah, so. and I was the exact same way before I tried it. Yeah, it was, I was really skeptic on saying that. <laughs> that the, the oil is gonna make that big of a difference, but oil has made that big of a difference. I mean, we're sitting here with the AC on, and the, you can barely feel that the truck is really running. I mean, this used to run with, a, a you know, you knew it was running. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can still tell the truck's running, you can still hear it. Yeah. I can still feel a slight, you know, vibration, it, vibration yeah. because it is a diesel motor, but it has smoothed out tremendously. You know, even the what I what I noticed the most was it was smoother. All right. Right off the bat, it was smoother. It, it, the idle is just smoother than yeah. it ever, ever was before. And this is a 2006. All right. So certainly it was a big difference. You know, pickup power, I think it was better too. It may be subjective, but not for somebody like me. I I know bullshit when I when I hear it. It's, it's, <laughs> honestly, I I'm in third gear. I go from 25 to 60. I don't even know it. It's the best money that I've ever spent in my truck. I, I should have done it sooner. Hey, if you want this sucker to make more power, and that's what we're talking about. We're talking about your motor. If you have a diesel vehicle, you're gonna want the diesel injector clean plus cetane boost. This goes in, increases your uh, performance power. It's gonna put a film on your upper rings, and that lubricant film makes your vehicle run smoother, quieter, and uh, you're actually gonna have less wear and less fuel contamination. You're gonna get significantly better fuel mileage and you're gonna have a lot more punching power. We're talking, I would estimate anywhere in the neighborhood of, I'm gonna say 10 to 15 wheel horsepower on a diesel truck and another probably 20 to 45 wheel torque. And uh, I've personally driven diesel trucks before and after and I can feel the difference and uh, we're going to be confirming these numbers on a dyno. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. You're going to want to come back and watch these dyno videos coming up. And now we're on to our octane booster. If you have a gas vehicle, I recommend the octane booster for the summertime. This is going to help a lot with pre-ignition and engine knock. Your motor is going to run smoother. It's going to run a lot quieter. And you're going to allow your motor, especially something like this, to have the full timing. So this is a direct injected motor, and this is uh, what a lot of the new motors all have. This is a little teeny weeny four point 
seven liter uh, twin turbo and they're very sensitive to low quality fuel. So if you're driving your car and it just doesn't seem like it's running as strong as it could be, there's a few reasons that that could be. It could be you're running the high ethanol gas, the really cheap, 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 cheap gas at some of these big name retailers. It's just a bunch of junk. And then one of your higher quality fuels is gonna be like a Chevron, that's what I run. And uh, you're just gonna notice more power, better fuel mileage, and you're gonna have less pre-ignition, less knock, less vibration. And then when you run something like this, you're gonna get a whole nother level of performance and better timing. And uh, you can't make that timing if you have the pre-ignition because all the new computers and motors have a knock sensor. And as soon as it, uh, it uh, you can say it senses knock or whatever, pulls the timing, you lose all that wheel horsepower, you lose the fuel mileage, and you lose your drivability. So if you want to restore that, get this. Um, it's going to help your motor run a lot uh, smoother, and you'll also clean your injectors. So now I run this about every thousand miles on my personal car. It treats up to 15 gallons of gas. And then we got the uh, PI cleaner, and now we're going to show you one more. Oh, and remember, we got Eben's end of month giveaway where we give snap on tools away, $100 gift cards, all different types of things we give away. So if you want to be in that, leave your comment within the first half hour. I randomly go through and select people for the giveaway. And uh, hey, that's what I love to do. I always say in the channel, loving and giving makes life worth living. And the more you give, the better you live. So if you can do something, help someone out, leave a comment down below. That really means a lot. It helps out the channel. And uh, if you can slap that thumbs up button, that lets people know it's a great piece of content. And uh, that means the world. Thank you. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go ahead and tap this little button. And then you're going to see the notification bell. You're going to go in here. You're going to allow it all the settings in the badge. You're going to go back and you're going to click this bell and you'll hit all notifications. That way you'll get a notification when I publish my next video. All right, we're gonna show you how to add about one to two average miles per gallon better and about 15 to 25 wheel horsepower. This is how you do it. Just come right here. And we're gonna confirm these numbers coming up very soon on a dyno, we have to. We gotta show the real results. Just pop our lid right here. This one's a softy. You can pop it in with one finger. Shove right inside. Let that sucker go in. Well, that sucker's draining. We're gonna come here. I'm gonna wipe this off on of my sock. Get that little bit of film. You really should wear rubbers, but today we're gone completely natural. And now we're gonna come here. We're gonna pop this seal in. It's safe to just pop in with a key. It's a little tough sometimes, but you're better off having a stronger seal and it doesn't come off, so it doesn't fall inside. A lot of people think it does, but it, it doesn't fall inside. You're good. Come here, you give it a tap -a Like that, a little jiggle, jiggle, wiggle. And now we just shove with this one. And this one's got the gasless gas cap compatible tip. So not only can you shove it in, you can also yank it out. And that's pretty much it. We're all good to go. So on this car, we just uh, added about 17 to 30 more mile range, and we added about 15 to 25 wheel horsepower, and it's that easy. So if you want to try the AMS oil, you'll see the little reverse down arrow. That's right here in the corner. All you do is click on that. You'll see all the links down below. When you use my link, I'll be your go-to AMS oil guy. I can answer all your questions on the products. And uh, this is what I do about 60, 70 hours a week here on YouTube. And I pride myself on it. And if you want to see more on engine flushes, if you want to clean up your motor, check out this video right here. And this is on the engine flush product, which is right here. That's our engine flush. And uh, I want you to check out that playlist right here. We will see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection protection protection